On Tuesday, four-star defensive tackle Jacob Daniel from Fresno committed to USC, making the announcement on Twitter and finishing it with the battle cry, Fight On! Hi everyone, I'm Ray Crawford. Even with the coaching unrest over the past eight months, USC has had the top recruiting class in the Pac-12 for this year. So let's talk Trojans with Chris Swanson from Rivals. And Chris, so who do you think will be the next to commit to the Trojans? Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say Noah Jefferson out of Las Vegas. He's a strong side defensive end, big body guy. Um, only a few offers so far, Arizona State, San Diego State, USC, and USC has a need. Uh, at defensive end, Leonard Williams might leave, maybe even Delvon Simmons. So uh, I think with the need there and, and uh, the fact that he only has a few offers, I think Noah Jefferson could be the next guy for them. Seems like USC has also identified a needed wide receiver. They've made a couple of offers to a number of receivers, but there seems to be some uncertainty there. Why? Uh, yeah, you look at a couple of the guys that they've offered, and uh, they – they have other options. You look at Equinemia St. Brown out of Servi in Anaheim. A lot of people would expect him to be a USC guy because he's local, but he's really into academics. He's looking at Stanford, Vanderbilt, and schools like that could be a draw for him. Uh, you also look at Cordell Brodus, who's uh, Snoop Dogg's son. A lot of people thought he'd be a USC guy because Snoop Dogg is. Uh, he might not be a USC guy. So SC is looking at a couple different receivers to extend offers to. They're obviously going to keep recruiting those guys too, but uh, Jalen Hawkins is a guy to watch and Trent Irwin too. They might be getting USC offers soon. So Steve Sarkeesian says he'll put an emphasis on keeping that top talent in Southern California there at home. How is his approach different from that of Lane Kiffin or maybe even Pete Carroll? It seems like he's much more aggressive with evaluating local talent early and getting the offers out there like he did up at Washington. With Carroll, USC had such a dominant run and they were getting so many guys that had a high percentage of guys committing. They wanted to wait longer to evaluate local and national guys. When Lane Kiffin came in, he inherited a situation where USC was still USC in Los Angeles, but he felt like he might have to extend some offers earlier to guys across the country to get them interested. So he saw the offers go up there. But locally, they still waited a lot and evaluated under Sarkeesian. A lot more aggressive. They're going after guys. They're trying to fill up their class early. All right, see if it all pays off and in the long run there. Chris, thanks very much. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. For more of our USC Spring Spotlight, including an interview with Steve Sarkeesian, check out CampusInsiders.com.